Turns out, I can push this. So what I'm doing is a couple of videos back, I welded nuts inside the frame to bolt a cab to the frame. I'm using 7 16 bolts to go through the cab into the frame to hold the cab on. 7 16 is much larger than the original bolts, so now I'm having problems lining up my cab holes to my frame holes. And I'm going to have to pull the cab off and enlarge the holes in order to get the bolts to line up right. So you're watching me figure that out. That's not going to be part of this video. That video will be later on. But I just now figured it out. So that's what I'm doing. So I had the cab on. Then I took the cab off. Flipped it on its front. You can see over there I did some sanding on the side rail of that lower door sill. That comes later. Today, this morning, before it gets too hot, we're going to paint again. So I got the spray gun all set up. And then, It's not the 3M version, it's the no name brand. 35, 40 bucks on Amazon. So I can see better. So it comes with a filter and a mesh. Or a, yeah. Yeah. a filter, and then this is like a filter cover. new gloves so we got a couple parts in here not a couple we got a bunch of parts in here we're gonna spray them
I can't scratch my nose, even though there's sweat dripping off of it. So I gotta sneak out of here? The fenders are almost ready for a second coat, so I gotta get the sweat off my face. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I flipped everything, I hung some stuff up. kind of foggy in here. Now I'm going to let this stuff dry. So this has been in the baking tent for 24 hours, I guess. I just turned the fans off. So this is just plain pour 15 sprayed over the bare treated metal this is my rust inhibitor so this will be sanded primed painted clear coated but this is like my base metal coat right 
your epoxy prime your epoxy you know sealer whatever you want to call it i'm just using this the pore 15 base doesn't have uv protection so if you put it out in the sun it will fade over time it'll turn into a nice matte black finish but i mean whatever you're looking for but you can scuff this clear coat it and it'll be done just the way it is but we're not doing that but it can be done if you go back to the fiat stuff um i took the chrome bumpers off a of 79 fiat sanded them with 80 grit sprayed it with pour 15 sanded it down and then clear coated it those bumpers look great i'll post a picture here. So it, it can be your final coat if you want. It can be your only coat if you want. This is doable. You watched me do it in this 10 by 17 spray booth. So Whatever you want to do, you can do it. This is the way I'm doing it. It's not the only way to do it. It's just the way I do it, right? There's no right or wrong. There's only what you do. So build it the way you want it. So these are the hood pieces. And that's a door. So last night... I painted the interior of both hoods. So this is just 415 straight. And then it's kind of hard to see. No, it's not. So there's the inside of the door. I got good coverage everywhere I wanted it. And then I took it back in the shop. I had some overspray, of course, that went around this windowsill because it was open. So I sanded that. And then I sanded the bottom one more time to get all of the overspray off. And then I cleaned it with wax and grease remover. And then I'm going to have to clean it again because I touched it two times. So. But I'm not painting it today, so today's just prepping for tomorrow. But if you guys had some questions about painting exterior pieces with 415. So I'm gonna do a little follow-up on that. Ooh, that feels better. AC is running. So all I did to the cab since the last time was I got my holes lined up and mounted so on the cab mounts I'm using 7 16 bolts instead of 5 16 I don't have my polyurethane strip under there yet, so it's about a quarter inch lower than it's going to be overall. But I'm going to get this motor fitted in there so I can weld up my motor mounts and then fit the transmission side, get that bracket where it can be bolted in. But that, I'm not doing that today. I'm, I'm prepping for paint for tomorrow, today, right? Prep ahead. Do it tomorrow. Don't try to do it all in one day. Why don't you look over here? So the question is, did I ruin this truck by painting it with 415? Short answer, no. Skip to the end. Have a good day. What did I do? How did I prep it? So a couple videos back, there's me stripping all the old paint off with a nylon wheel a spaghetti wheel right that scuffs up the metal then later on 
I went over the whole thing with 120 grit sandpaper. So this is 120. So you can see where the paint's sticking on the 120. Let's try to get it off with sandpaper. So it's not flaking off, it's not peeling off. It's just sanding off like normal paint would. I'd probably even get you closer. Come watch this. Down, up, down, right, right there. No, I'm gonna shake a little bit, so watch out. I'm sanding this because this is gonna be my door edge, right? I don't want this overspray to be sprayed on again. It'll be too thick. So this edge is my paint edge right here. So I'm gonna spray it from this side. If I got a little bit extra on this side, it's not really gonna matter because it's not gonna show that much. So I'm gonna stand on this until it's gone. There's an easier way. I'm gonna show you the easier way. So this is a coarse three inch scratch pad. It goes on your angle grinder slash whatever you wanna call it. It's not really a grinder if it's not grinding. And then we're just gonna buzz this off.
So here's my edge. Uh, it's heavy. Here's the inside. Yeah, I like it. So it's got plenty of teeth for the paint to stick to. That's the way I prep it. It's not the only way, it's the way I do it. But I don't have any concerns about this poor 15 flaking off. It'll stick just fine. So now I gotta do both sides of the hood. Well, the other side of the hood, the clean side of the hood, both hoods. How's that? So now I got to do both hoods, get that clean side prepped for paint, set that up. I got a bunch of trim pieces left, interior trim pieces, the door panels. Those got to be sandblasted. That big back panel along the window, that's got to be blasted and prepped. So let me get to do this and y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.